Hello, welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. The Orange County Business Council would like to make it easier for local businesses to do business in Orange County, and they are recognizing those who do, who make the process a, a little easier. Uh, they call it the turning red tape into red carpet. And with me now is Jocelyn Jimenez. She is a, an economic development specialist with Orange County Business Council. And we're happy you're here today. Thank you for having me. You know, first of all, what is the Orange County Business Council? Who is the Orange County Business Council? Of course, well, Orange County Business Council, we're a, a business regional uh, organization that works with academia and government officials to promote and advocate for the business community and economic growth within the county. So what is this turning red tape into red carpet? Well, this program was uh, um, born about six years ago, and it acknowledges and recognizes the good work made by local governments to continue to support that business community here in the county. So who um, are some of the awards going to this time around? Well, um, what, what kind of categories, what sorts of awards? Of course, um, so our awards are divided into program awards that are either our business retention and expansion award, then our real estate and redevelopment and reuse award, and sustainable and green development, also our globalization um, as well. Yeah, so these are a lot of areas where mm -hmm. together the community is doing better and moving forward mm -hmm. and uh, making it easier to do business here. Now, what are the criteria? What did you look at to decide who is gonna win these awards? Well, that is very interesting. Our selection committee got together and decided that the awards are gonna go to those projects and programs in local government um, that happen to highlight the innovative approach to opening doors for business community. Also, how to replicate. Is this, easy, is this program easy to replicate in other communities? And uh, um, is it really improving and streamlining that project? Oh, great, mm -hmm. so being imaginative and um making it so that other people can steal these ideas and mm -hmm. also profit from them. Okay, Correct. so let's break it down. Uh, talk about who some of the winners are. I know you have the um, business retention and expansion category. Yes, so this one honors uh, all the economic development uh, projects that highlight to retain and grow the existing business community. Um, this year's award, it's went to the city of Buena Park with their uh, Beach Boulevard Entertainment District revitalization. Mm -hmm. well, and that's uh, very important because they took an area that was, you know, a little questionable. People were not going there feeling safe with families and they made it something great. Definitely. They actually decided to attract more hotels, uh, more attraction venues and restaurants while creating that synergy with the existing business community. Okay, another award going to the winner of Real Estate Redevelopment and Reuse. That goes to the City of Fullerton. They did. Uh, with a program of reinvestment and reusing zoning. And what they did, they combined three existing commercial zones and created into one. So this allowed for business and uh, property owners to, uh, it, it's easier for them to do businesses and change their uh, bu buildings. Yeah, mm -hmm. they could work together and also maybe have a better identity so people mm -hmm. could recognize what they're doing in that area. That makes a lot of sense. Definitely, and especially because it doesn't, uh, um, it doesn't make them to comply with the existing regulations that was done previously to their building being created. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, another big topic that we see the uh, encouragement is uh, sustainable and green development. Uh, mm -hmm. Businesses, you know, they try to get them to participate in this sort of thing. And this one was a very popular one just because a lot of projects and uh, communities are seeing that connection between economic development and uh, sustainable um, sustainable growth and uh -huh. sustainable initiatives and it's one of those things that seems to like a pro enhance everyone's business as they move ahead. Yes, and this year's winner goes to the city of Huntington Beach with their recycling development and marketing zone. And uh, this is a very unique project since it's one of its kind. It's the first multi-jurisdictional zone here in Orange County that takes um, advantage of that growing uh, recyclables in order to feel businesses, create new jobs, and uh, uh, move that waste from landfills. Oh yeah, I mean they're literally making treasure out of trash. <laughs> the, <laughs> yes. the, the gas, the <laughs> landfill gas, they're uh, making renewable energy, so that's, that's pretty cool. Definitely. Okay, responding to globalization. This one, it's uh, quite interesting because we, this year's winner goes to the Santa Ana College with their international business program. And uh, um, this program coordinates with businesses to tackle 
a workforce development plan for a very um, leading industry in Orange County, which is international trade, you know, and uh, it's a great way to see that innovative design in the new courses of uh, of curriculums to go ahead and prepare and close the skills gap to, by preparing our students for the jobs that are currently in our um, economy. Yeah, so even education could be on the for forefront Definitely. of catering mm -hmm. their um, goods and services to the people who can most benefit from them. Okay, yes. let's move on to the partnership and uh, award nominees. We had uh, a very, uh, a lot of nominations for this uh, uh, for this program, and this we had two co-winners. Mm -hmm. The first one goes to the Anaheim Fire and Rescue, and this partnership is with the um, Kaiser mm -hmm. of Orange County and mm -hmm. the Metronet Communication Center to coordinate how to allocate the resources uh, efficiently and properly to go ahead and uh, um, to improve communications out in the field. Right, yeah. uh, and how to address those low, um, uh, low responding or low level responding calls, mm -hmm. and depending um, in regards to the uh, high level. How to calls. sort through the, the right. importance, how to, uh, get, yeah, yes. say this is the most important thing, we need to do this first, Go because ahead. that is uh, that's a very important uh, aspect of saving lives mm -hmm. and working together. Correct. Okay, so they were co-winners with who else? With uh, uh, the Anaheim School District, mm -hmm. um, they actually, Union Bank and the school district got together and created a student branch in the Luara High School. And uh, this, it's a great and innovative approach on how to start the conversation of financial services, especially at an early age, creating that spark and interest for financial service, services jobs. I know we don't think about these useful tools that we're gonna need every day of our mm -hmm. lives as something that should be taught to us. You know, we just find ourselves with credit card bills and it's Correct. a little too late then. Yeah, Definitely. learning about loans and spending wisely is, is good mm -hmm. back in, uh, in high school. Okay, moving on to the leadership award. So this um, award goes to the leader that has um, in the public sector that has demonstrated to advocate and promote economic growth within their community. Mm -hmm. We have a national leader mm -hmm. uh, that it goes to the congressional, um, con Congresswoman Mimi Walters, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, she exhibits an unwavering commitment to uh, pro-growth policies in the business community, but more predominantly on the biotech community. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and her reward had, was connected to uh, patent infringement uh, legislation that she was working on. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's really cool, too. Okay, um, and there is another winner on that leadership awards, and uh, that's with, for a county person, a county worker. So that will be our regional winner. Mm -hmm. This will go to the Orange County Treasurer, Sherry Frederick, mm -hmm. and she has implemented changes and uh, um, an online property tax program that is saving and um, that is saving users money, money and time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it took a long time for the county to get that <laughs> online to consolidate those tax bills, but mm -hmm. okay, finally there it is. So uh, the Orange County Business Council, uh, looking forward to another year of nominees. I, I imagine it takes a whole year to get this all together. Most definitely, yes. And uh, we are celebrating them on November 17th. We mm -hmm. honored and uh, celebrate the innovation and creativity throughout all local government. Jocelyn mm -hmm. Jimenez, always nice to see you. Thank you for coming Thank by. Thank you very much, Leslie. All right. Thank mm -hmm. you for joining us as well. I'm Leslie Layton.